how to install Ansible in SUS Linux Enterprise, also known as SLES Server 15 Service Pack 3. Today we are going to talk about the easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside SUS Linux Enterprise Server using the Package Hub repository. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to install Ansible in SUS Linux Enterprise. The easier way to install and maintain Ansible inside SUS Linux Enterprise SLES is using the SUS package hub additional repository maintained by the SUS community. So yes, it's not official. I hope that one day SUS will have a better um, support for Ansible. Let's see. Demo time. Are you ready to make your hands dirty? Let's jump in a quick live demo about how to install the latest version of Ansible in SUS Linux Enterprise Server 15 Service Pack 3. Wait a minute, where to find more information about SUS Package Hub inside the website packagehub.sus.com as you can see, there are community packages for SUS Linux Enterprise Server. Yes, because Ansible is not in the main distribution repository. Here you can see the support level that is still community and the way how to contribute. But the most important part is the current package list. As you can see, if we search for Ansible, we can see all the possible results. In this case, I'm looking for Ansible package and we can scroll down for all the available packages for our distribution. In my case, 15 service pack free. So I'm expecting this result. So 2.9.c Let's jump in a console to verify this result. Are you ready? Let's have a fun! Welcome to my console. I have a fresh SUS Linux Enterprise Server machine ready to in my lab. So let me connect via SSH DevOps username at slash dot example dot com. I need to accept the SSH fingerprint because it's the first time I'm connecting. Sudo su to become a root and let me print out some OS variable. So slash ATC OS release. Yes, is enterprise server Linux SUS 15 service pack free. So let me also print uh, no uh, host name control. So we can have more information about the architecture and running kernel. Uh, same information also on uname-a. So what else? We are ready to search for Ansible. First of all, let me verify that SUS connect status. Yes, this machine is registered with one evaluation license. So now we are ready to move on using Zipper. So let me search zipper refresh to update the repository metadata. These are the basic repository. As you can see, the base system and other enterprise server certified. If I'm searching for Ansible, I'm getting no result in the distribution packages. So let me list dash extension with SUS connect and uh, 
we can see all the possible options for a repository. In my case, I have activated, uh, let me review with you, Base System Module 15, and uh, I saw so another activated repository down here, Server Application Module. Here we are, but we need to activate the Package Hub. Oh, here we are. Let me copy and paste susconnect dash p package hub 15.3 slash my architecture x86 underscore 64. More easy to copy and paste. And the system, the SUS connect system updated my repository. So this time I'm performing zipper search. Zipper is updating the metadata and I'm getting some result as you can see from for Ansible documentation and other things. Let me go a little bit deeper with zipper info. As you can see, these are the package available 2.9.6, yeah, not the latest edition, and is not installed. Actually, there is also a dependency problem that is missing Python 3 dash coverage. Hmm. Let me try to proceed ignoring this dependency. Let's see if Zipper can do this. Yes, it's calculating 25 dependency with 28 uh, megabytes of downloading. So Zipper, the package manager, is uh, downloading all the necessary packages and let's see if uh, the installation goes well or not, because we still uh, have missing one dependency. So let me try with Ansible dash dash version. Here we go. 2.9.6 on Python 3.6 available in my SUS Linux Enterprise Server. Let me remind you that this operating system is not supported officially. So let me review the package installer zipper info of Ansible. Here we are, we have the package that is now installed on my machine. So now I can maintain up to date to the most recent available on the package hub for this machine with the usual zipper update process. Easy? So Ansible is available on SUS Enterprise Linux with uh, some exception. You need to add this additional repository. It's not perfect, but still is running. So it's better than nothing. Now you know how to install the latest version of Ansible in SUS Linux Enterprise Server 15 Service Pack 3 using the Package Hub repository. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, write a comment, keep in touch with me in any way, and see you soon for more Ansible Pilot adventure. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.